Good evening fellow thieves, my name is Soledo and today I'm back with an update on the new challenges. So basically Zeptolab decided to start this challenge a little bit early so we are already in the challenge and as you can see right now I'm ranked 9000. So that's pretty embarrassing so why don't we take a look at how I can increase my rank. So we click on the purple flag and now we can see that we are in the money grabbers challenge and I am level 53 so I am in the level 40 plus tier. There are three tiers you have one from 1 till level 19, one from level 20 to 29 and then I guess one from like 30 to 40 and then one to, from 40 plus. Now the reward you get in my tier is a hundred thousand feather gem if you are in the top 100 you get 150 orbs if you are in the top 300 you get 50 orbs if you are in the top thousand and if you manage to reach the top 4000 you will receive 10 100k gold so that's quite awesome and if you can actually get these rewards that's really awesome but i know for a matter of fact that the rewards are a little bit different in other tiers for example, Ezekiel Alley also made his video and there you can clearly see that the top 400 get a feather gem, but their feather gem is only worth 10,000. While our feather gem for the uh, tier of level 40 plus is worth a whopping 100k. This is insane and like getting that feather gem will really boost your score. So that's pretty awesome. So you can actually click here on the question mark and then you can uh, get a more detailed explanation of what you can get. Also, as you can see, um, if you actually manage to get in the top thousand, you either you even get a consolation prize of 15k gold. So yeah, it's a little prize and it's quite cool to have. So the thing you have to know is that there are three challenges. So right now we have the money grabbers challenge, but there's also a gem losers challenge with the one who have stolen the most amount of gems uh, wins and it's the amount of gems which count and not the how valuable the gems are. So that's quite important uh, to keep in mind. And then there's also the flawless heist where the guy who does the most flawless attacks will win. So I'm really excited for that, that one. It's quite unique and I'm super excited to find out how that challenge will go. So why don't we take a look at how the challenges, challenge looks right now. So the guy who is in first position right now has a whop whopping 14 million gold. That guy must be so rich, he probably can upgrade all his traps. So he must have rated a lot. So how can you increase your uh, score in the money grabbers challenge? Well, basically it all comes down to two factors. How much gold to steal from an attack and how many attacks you do. So everything which makes you able to increase those two numbers will uh, grant you more gold. So basically you can upgrade your keys, uh, like your max amount of keys. Yeah, I'm quickly going to collect my gold. Uh, and now we can take a look. And basically, so your max amount of keys is important as you can see right now, your lockpick capacity and also your lockpick speed as these will determine how quickly you replenish your locks. So I definitely advise you upgrading those if you want to compete in the money grabbers challenge. So next thing you can do is actually using potions. There is one potion who doubles the amount of gold you can steal from a raid. So definitely stock up on those potions and keep in mind it's only seven orbs. Uh, to get such a potion so it can be quite worth it. So the feather gem is going to be pretty awesome and basically how it works is this feather gem of 100k uh, you will be able to put it in your totem and whenever it finishes a ritual you will get a whopping 15 orbs. That's quite cool but the downside is that once the feather gem gets stolen you can no longer retrieve it. But, but on the upside, for other people, it just looks like a normal gem. So they won't know that they are stealing a feather gem. Now, the thing is, when you uh, have combined your, uh, your gems with a feather gem, the new gem is also a feather gem and you can then further upgrade it and get more orbs from it. Now, what you have to keep in mind, though, is that you can always sell your feather gem and then you will also get orbs for that. And one cool little thing is that the feather gem actually doesn't get automatically resold when he is the lowest value and you can get a bigger gem. So your feather gem will never be automatically sold, which is quite cool. 
Now the thing is, is this filter gem really like fair? Because let's take an account. When you are in the top 100, you will not only have stolen a massive amount of gold, you will also get a feather gem. But such a feather gem grants you 100k extra gem value. So basically this will increase your stolen gems or like your gem count with 100,000, which is a massive amount and you will probably automatically win the King's League. And on top of that, you'll probably also win your uh, guild battle and be in the top 10 players. So basically that's 205 orbs only from winning those two things. On top of that, you even get 15 orbs for completing rituals with it. So having this fair gem is a massive advantage and the people who actually get a hold of these gems will have a super a massive increase in gem count and will definitely be able to dom dominate the game. Now you have to keep in mind that these fitter gems will be quite uh, precious as there won't be that many in the game. Only a hundred will be released and keep in mind that, King, that there are like regular players, more than 100,000 regular players of this game at least. Probably even a million players. So that's something you have to keep in mind and you won't come across that many feather gems. Especially not the ones uh, who have a 100k rating. So that's everything I have to talk, talk about, uh, about the feather gems and the challenges. So right now there's 3 days and 15 hours left. So I should get started and steal some gold to increase my rating. And you should probably do the same. So keep on raiding those dungeons. If you'd like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to get updated on future King of Thieves content.